So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second React Native tutorial in which we're going to discuss how to set up React Native environment and basically get started working with React Native. So if you haven't watched my first video which describes basically what React Native is and why do we need to work with it, then you might want to give it a try just in case you are unfamiliar with React Native. Otherwise, let's get started. All right, so to get started with React Native, we need to obviously set up its environment and all that stuff first. So first things first, how do we actually set up React Native? So if you go to the official website, you can see that we have got a nice get started link here. All right, the confusion starts here. Now, there are two sections, sections you can see quick start and building projects with native code. Now, most of the people who um, dive into React Native for the first time get started with these, this quick start thing, which is basically just a couple of lines and you're good to go. Now, as good seems, at least for me, I think this create React Native app is not the best choice because um, it runs on Expo client, which I personally do not really like because um, Expo kind of limits you in a lot of things because React Native on its own is like you're writing JavaScript plus you can do a lot of tweaking and all that stuff with the native code as well. But when you use something like Expo, you get bundled, right? So you are not allowed to move out of a specific realm. So um, if you want to go with this Expo one, you can, but I would go with native code by building projects with native code. And once you do this, what you have to do is obviously go ahead and have Node installed on your computer. Now, if you do not know what Node is, then um, let me just show you um, what do you actually mean by, let's say, yeah, I'm just going to go to a directory. Let me just zoom in here a little. Um, let's say I go to home directory and... Uh, Let's just um, list what we have in here. Let's just say YouTube it is. And then uh, we go with, let's just remove this React Native directory for now. And let's just create React Native again. All right. So now what you need to do basically is have Node installed. And again, you can do that by following instructions here. Now, make sure you select your target as target OS as Android for now, because obviously iOS can only be developed on a Mac, which is kind of which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Um, we are good with Android only right now. So, if you're a Mac OS user, then you can install Node with Brew, or um, ba basically there's a video of mine which shows you exactly how to set up latest version of node and npm on your system i'll just leave that link in the description so if you want to set up node or npm you can watch that all right you can skip this watchman tool if you want it's not really required so once you're done with this you need to install the react native cli so to do that again you have to just do npm install react native cli and make sure you install it globally by writing the dash g flag and since I already have that installed, I guess it should not take me a lot of time. A lot of time. So you can see that um, it's just fetched the local copy of that thing, right? And uh, um, yeah, one more thing. What you want to do is make sure you run your npm around four point something version. This is the problem you're gonna face later on when you use your React Native applications that you cannot really run npm on version five. Right, so this is why I'm running version 4.6.1 because I'm using React Native to create code dumps mobile app. So that's why um, NPM basically, NPM version 5 is not really compatible with React Native the last time I checked. So um, if you face any problems and you find out that your NPM version is um, version 5 point something or above, then what you want to do is NPM install G npm and add the red version here right in my case it's 4.6.1 
all right with that being said now once you have done that you should have your react native cli on board and uh, after this what you want to do is obviously have installed android studio now you need android studio jdk and all that stuff because remember react native is actually developing native apps for you so just go ahead and download the jdk and how you do that is basically uh, let's see you accept the license agreement first and then select your operating system for me it's mac os x 64 bit and just download this and run it you should be good to go once you do that just go ahead and download the android studio as well once you do download android studio i already have that up and running as well you would be provided with android sdk sdk platforms and uh, all that stuff you would also have an android virtual device though i do not really recommend you can just directly you know work with your real android device if you have one if you don't have one that's another thing so you can create an android virtual device which we will see later on as we proceed all right so um android studio is pretty straightforward if you have if you guys have ever worked with it you just have to download it and it will just start downloading right uh, once you just you just have to install it you do not really need to use android studio to work with react native um just because android studio brings all that sdk stuff together all right once you have downloaded just install android studio and you can see that building a react native app with native code however requires android 6 marshmallow sdk in particular so react native right now maybe uses android 6 sdk i'm not sure because they're saying it i believe they use that but uh, sure enough you can use another targeted sdk later on in your application because hey remember react native is running native code so if you're coming from an android development background you must know there is a file called android manifest and build.cradle and all that stuff you're going to find exact same files in your react native project as well so if you do not have any idea what the heck these terms are don't worry about that we'll gradually learn them later on but for now just remember that uh, your react native right now is targeting this android 6 platform and by targeting that means that your app would be most optimized developed for this thing and for backward compatibility you have to add some sort of code or something forward compatibility for forward compatibility yes as well so yeah so um here we are and you do not need to really do all of this stuff just make sure you install um this android 6 and let me just give me a second here all right so you see something like this when you launch android studio right and uh, what we actually have to do here is basically um, you have to go to like your Android Studio and you would probably see something like a bunch of hello world kind of stuff here don't worry about that it's not really useful what you just have to do is just go right here to this SDK manager little boy um, this Android with an arrow on his head just go to Android SDK Manager, Android SDK, SDK Platforms and make sure you install this Android Marshmallow, Android 6. You see I have installed that already. Just stick on it and click OK. It will download that and install it for you. That's basically it, what you have to do for the SDK 1. And you can see that we need something, some else, something else as well like Google APIs, Android SDK which we had already done intel x86 atom 64 system image and all this stuff and basically you would find all of that stuff right here inside here sdk platforms is here sdk tools you can find that stuff here right um you have to install these sdk tools as well then once you're done with this sdk tools thing you see that you would have installed this 23.0.1 SDK tools and uh, just go ahead select these 23 point whatever whatever latest version is it doesn't does not matter and click on OK right once you do all of that stuff what you have to do next is um, configure these variables by adding them to your bash profile and for the windows guys what you have to do is 
if you go right here you have to add it to your path right so how do you add it to your path well um, for the Windows people you have to right click on your this PC icon then um, you have to go to somewhere like advanced settings of your computer then you would see environment variables and then basically add those stuff for Linux and Mac OS users just copy this stuff and uh, um, uh, remind me tomorrow just copy the stuff and go ahead and inside your terminal right here just open your bash profile or no bash well bash bash profile it is right so just open your bash profile profile file and just copy and paste this stuff right here which we see inside so you would have set up your um, all those variables for Windows guys again as I told you just have to go to system settings and basically add environment variables just Google how to add environment variables and you should be good to go right once you're done with all of that stuff right what you have to do is go to your project in which you want to actually write code of your um, Android application and iOS application in my case this is go damn you to react native and right here you have to say react native in it and then your project name let's just name it hello world and hit enter now you can see that it creates a kind of a uh, walkthrough kind of thing so you see that it's installing all the required packages it's it's using yarn for right now but you can make use of npm as well they they mostly work in a similar way on a package.json file so anyway yeah so let me just grab this and pick it right here you can see that we just did react native in it our project name then um, you can actually do all of the stuff later on it's not really required right now I'll tell you how to do this this is all cool right so what you have to do right now first of all is just make sure this thing right here goes well and if it does not go well then go ahead and repeat the steps make sure you have added the environment variables correctly Windows guys you have to add it to your path variables inside your this PC settings advanced settings environment variables and then selecting path variables you can easily see how to do that by selecting this windows here see just like that open system pane system security change settings advanced tab environment variables click on new and just like that right Mac and Linux guys I hope you can do it yourself because you have been working on with bash and all that stuff at least I believe Linux people at least work with that stuff all the time so uh, you just have to copy and paste this inside your bash profile and this is bash RC basically on a Linux system bash profile on a Mac system and once you have done that and still the error is there then um, there might be some problem with installation of your Android studio SDK and all that stuff make sure to check all of that as well and if the still if still the error persists then um, you can ask that in comments and I'll be just happy to help you so let me just really quickly wait here for it to complete and it might take a little bit time for you for the first time because in my case it might be fetching a lot of stuff from the cache itself but for you it would be downloading all that stuff so you see that I am looks like I am already done all right you can see that um, it's set up on my end and hopefully should be set up on yours as well and basically that's it for this video and in the next video I'm just gonna show you a very basic hello world with react native which is basically just already prepared for us we just need to run an emulator and fire it up so yeah that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video